General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Central Committee and State President of Vietnam, Tô Lâm, along with his pounds, will be paying a state visit to China from August 18 to 20, according to a statement released on Thursday from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The visit is made at the invitations of the General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, Central Committees and State President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, and his spouse. This will mark Vietnamese leader's first overseas trip since he was elected General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam only this month following the highly successful official visit to China by the late General Secretary Nguyen Phu Chao in 2022 and the state visit to Vietnam by General Secretary and President of China Xi Jinping. In 2023, the two sides issued a joint statement on continuing deepening and elevating the comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership between the two countries and building a Vietnam-China community with a shared future that carries tragic significance. The Commissions for Management of State Capital at Enterprises, in collaboration with the Vietnam Trade Office in Canada and the Export Development Canada, organized a seminar in Toronto recently to connect the two countries' businesses and six cooperations opportunities in energy, productions and finance. The event held within the framework of a commission for management of state capital at enterprises delegations working visit to the North American region attracted the interest of many organizations and enterprises from both countries, including the Canadian ASEAN Business Council, which represents over 80 leading Canadian companies operating in ASEAN, according to experts Vietnamese enterprises in the insurance, rubber, oil and gas, and freight transport sectors are also seen as having significant potentials, as these areas can connect into a cooperative ecosystem and represent the next step in linking the production and supply chains between the two economies. This August marks a year of implementing a new visa policy in Vietnam. Thanks to this policy, the number of international visitors to the country has increased significantly. This family from Italy chose to spend their three-week holiday in Vietnam thanks to the new visa policy, which extends the exemption for e-visa from 30 to 90 days, the trip becomes much slimmer and more convenient. We come from Italy, so it's, it was really easy. You don't, you don't need visa, no visa. You just come here. <laughs> uh, so it's just, you can travel whenever you want. I got it through the embassy, I mean, through internet. Uh, that was an advantage, actually, because i currently not living in Mexico. I'm living in Bulgaria. So have the visa through internet was very helpful for me. According to the Vietnam National Administration of Tourism, visa policy is truly becoming a sharp tool to enhance competitiveness and facilitate international tourists to visit and travel in Vietnam. In the past seven months, the number of visitors reached more than 10 million. We see that visas are an extremely important condition that contributes significantly to tourism recovery, especially in attracting international visitors. According to experts, Vietnam's goal of 18 million foreign arrivals is feasible. The country was the top largest growing destination in Asia for European visitors following Malaysia and Japan, according to a tally of accommodation searches on the Agoda travel platform in April. It witnessed a 66% increase in travel searches from European tourists. The first ever Aru Chile Festival was recently launched in the mountainous district of Đông Giang in Quảng Nam Province. This year's festival attracted the participation of representatives of 11 communes and towns in the region. Aru Chile is seen as an important part of local cuisines, contributing to the diverse culture of Gudu people. This specialty also help improve local people's lives, bringing more incomes. 
famous for its lively uh, fishing cultural and stunning vistal, Vong Viang Fishing Village is an um, essential stop for those seeking an authentic Vietnam travel experience. If you are eager to immerse yourself in Hat Long Bay local culture, a visit to the fishing village is a must. Vung Vieng Fishing Village is described as a hidden gem in the northern province of Guangning. It offers a unique glimpse into the local ways of life. Formerly held as the world's most picturesque village, Vung Vieng Fishing Village exudes a serene charm embodying the rich cultural tapestry of northern fishermen's life. Despite its modest size, the village promises travelers various captivating experiences with over 60 households and approximately 300 residents. Vung Vieng villagers' livelihoods are deeply intertwined with the sea as they engage in the art of fishing and the cultivation of aquatic treasures. <laughs>